Hey guys, if you remember back to when we made paracord bubbly buddies with a wine cork for a head, we're going to be doing that again, um, but in a little bit different way. Um, so Vincenzo Italian Paracord, the guy that gave us the idea for the last one, he actually sent us a tutorial for this so that we could make a video of it for you guys. So for this project, you're going to need four feet of 550 paracord, some micro cord, a champagne cork or wine cork, a type 3 fid, and then scissors and a lighter. Let's dive in. So first we've got to prep our cork a little bit for this project. We'll just be using the top section of a champagne cork. So go ahead and cut off the bottom portion and then we're going to be drilling a hole about a quarter inch or five sixteenths of an inch through that top portion. Um, I've got one already set to go here. So it's kind of a flat disc shape now with our hole drilled through. And that's going to become the Paracord Buddy's head. So now that our head is all ready to go, we're going to cut one foot off of our four foot section of paracord. So there we go. You can set the one foot section aside, that's going to be our legs later. So now with our three foot section, we're going to make a snake knot in the top of our cord before we put it through our head. So to do that, fold your cord in half, loop the right side around the left, like this. Then loop that left side underneath, around, and through that left loop. And then tighten that down with just a little inch loop at the top. About like that. Now we're going to take both ends and thread them through our cork. One cord should fit through just fine. And then the other one will probably need a fit on the end, depending on the size of your hole. Slide that all the way up to your snake knot. You can take the fit off your end. Then we're going to turn it upside down so that our cords are facing up. and we'll measure out about two inches. And then we're gonna do a cobra weave going backwards towards the head. So to do that, we take both cords, lay the right side over the top like that. Left side goes down over that one. And then around the back and up through this loop. Same as making a paracord bracelet. You can tighten that down. You want to make sure that you keep your two inches. And then we'll just keep on going with the cobra. So now left over the top, right side down and around the back. And tighten that down. We'll do three more of these knots. You want to be careful not to tie these too tight because we are going to be threading the legs through the bottom at the end. All right, now we're going to spin him around again. And for his shoulders, we're going to tie an overhand knot in each cord. So we'll start with the right side here. Make a loop where our working end goes underneath. And then bring the cord down through the top like that. I'm going to cinch that up right against his body. And then we'll do the same on this side. So working end underneath, and then down through the loop. All right, there are his arms. And now we're gonna do some micro cord weaving. If you wanna conserve paracord, you can leave the spool attached to your string as you're working. Um, but I like to cut off pre-cut sections so that I don't have to thread my spool through the knots. So for his arms, you're gonna need just a foot and a half for each arm. Start over here. All 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing here with the micro cord. We're going to start by laying the end of our cord over his arm. And then we'll bring around the majority of our cord around the back like that. We'll wrap it over and back around. And then thread our end down through that loop. Oops. So that it looks like this. You'll notice that's a cow hitch, just like we put on the end of bracelets. This is also known as alternate ring hitching because we're going to be going back and forth in the directions that we're making these cow hitches down his arm. So we'll tighten this one down. Make sure that melted end doesn't slip through the knot. Nice and tight. And then you'll notice that our cord, our working end here, is going over the top of his arm. So we're going to go back over the top of his arm to do the alternate direction. And then we'll just make a simple overhand knot or a half hitch. Now our working end went under in that last knot. So we're going to go back around, put our cord underneath. This time our working end goes down through the loop. Just like that. And I'll tighten that all down. You want to make nine sets of this knot going down his arm. All right, there's our nine sets. So if you count, it'll be 18 stripes of cord. I'm just gonna make one more half hitch. That way our cord ends on the back side and nobody sees our melt mark. You'll notice we do have some extra cord left over. That's normal. You just need that to be able to pull your knots tight. Go ahead and clip that in. Melt it down a little bit and push it against your nut. And that'll keep it from coming undone. All right, we'll go ahead and do the same on the other side and then catch you after that to show you how to do the legs. All right, there's our other arm done. Before we move on to the legs, we'll make his hands. So that's just another simple overhand knot, like his shoulders. So, like before, we're going to make a loop to the outside with the working end going underneath and then just put that down through the middle. There we go. So now taking our foot long section that we cut off before, we'll thread a fit onto one end and attach it to his body. So what we want to do here is that his legs face forward instead of backwards. So we're going to go down through one side. You'll see two loops on the bottom here. So down through one side. And then up the other side. Take the fit off. You can kind of work it so that his legs stick out to the side more than forward. Like that there. So now we're just going to do the same thing on the legs as we did for the arms. Um, but where we did nine sets of knots for the arms, we're going to do 12 sets of knots for each leg. Um, so you're going to need two feet of paracord, two feet of that microcord for each leg. Then we'll just finish it off with the same overhand knots that we did for the hands.
there we go. Our cork buddy is all done. Fun thing about this guy, he's pretty poseable because this is wrapped so tight around his arms. You can bend his limbs and they stay that way. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did and you want to make this for yourselves, definitely post pictures on social media with hashtag ParacordPlanet and Vincenzo Italian Paracord. We'll show you how to spell those down in the description. We'll also put links to all the supplies that we used in this video. So the micro cord, the normal cord, and all the tools that we used. Um, leave us a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.